Hey guys, it's Pug Gaming here, and I have a little treat for you today. The guys over at Cossacks Free have issued me with an early release to try out the game. So if you haven't heard of the series of Cossacks, it's based on the, well it's a modern remake of the 2001 strategy. So not only do you encounter some amazing historical um, battles, but you have the ability to build your bases, you have to find ways of resourcing your materials to be able to upgrade and actually get the materials you need to build up your sort of base area. It's a very fulfilling game, I must admit. Now I've only managed to play uh, sort of a couple of days worth of the, the game, but I'm really impressed. It really does remind me of the Age of Empire series, um, which was a series which I played religiously. Um, didn't really play the previous versions of this, um, but now this, playing this, it feels great. It does really feel like it's a modern version of the old school games, and those ones are really easy to play and really fun to play. So what I thought I'd do is give you a bit of a, a teaser, a little review of what I was playing. Um, this is what I streamed online on Twitch. So we'll have a look through the game, we'll go through some of the features, we'll, we'll just have a little play of it, and. Uh, you can let me know what your thoughts are. However, so this isn't such a long episode. Um, obviously, I've got many hours worth of my game footage. So I'm going to sort of cut and play some of the uh, main features of the actual game, um, some of the cool bits of I've, I've found already. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. So here we are then on the main menu. We're going to go for a random map here, custom map. And these are the um, countries. No, well, I suppose they are countries you can be... So quite a selection. We'll just go for a couple of random ones to get things going quickly. So you can change your map, you can change the difficulty. Pretty much the same as what you'd expect from any of these sort of games. But we're gonna jump straight in without messing around too much just to see what we can do and let's play some of this game. So you start with your peasants. Um, so these are the guys that you'll be using to build. So these are pretty much your builders, your workers, everything but really battling. I think they can do damage, but not really anything too exciting or too costly for the opposing side. So these are what you need to use to build. And obviously the more you build at one time, obviously the quicker the buildings go. So once you build your town hall, um, your houses, etc., you need to think about how you're going to get your resources. So the resources are at the top here. So we've got gold, you've got wood, you've got food, we've got stone, we've got, I think the other one's ore maybe. Um, but you need to think about this quite quickly. If you're doing the standard game um, where you don't start off with a lot of resources, you need to make sure that you get as many peasants as possible to start doing everything that you can. So you can see in the corner here, we've got some of the stone these little mining areas normally where the stone and gold are and um, the trees obviously for the woods and the food you'll need to build a mill so you can start building sort of farmlands to build uh, sorry to sort of get the food in that way i think my first issue that i had when i started playing this game the first time was you don't realize how quickly your resources go down and obviously being a new user to the game i wanted to build absolutely everything i possibly could straight away um, I do later on try it with the uh, high resource start but this first time I played I played it on the standard settings and yes resources did drop very quickly which is expected um, but if you're playing it on this sort of difficulty you just need to make sure you build what you actually need um, and as you'll see a bit later on in this video I didn't realize how quickly you got attacked either um, so there was me in my creative mode trying to build a nice looking sort of town area and I pretty much get destroyed instantly because I'm not prepared um, obviously with my channel and the way I like to play these sort of games I will be putting emphasis into my designing side of things but the game in general is really, really cool to play and I do like the whole battle sort of scenes. So it will take me a bit of adjustment, I think, at first to sort of get the bridge to the two areas together of actually playing the game properly as it's been built, but also getting all the detailing in and uh, sort of building a nice little area for a base. So like I say, this first, <laughs> well, this first recording didn't last very long because I pretty much got destroyed by the opposing enemy. 
Um, so we're just going to speed this up a little bit just to get to that point um, and I'll sort of go through what I did in the meantime to get to that point really. So like I said, the first thing I was trying to do is get everything down that I could find um, on the building channels, um, trying to get all the resources down first and then start to think about building up an army. So that's sort of building the uh, stables, the barracks, etc, etc. Um, I think after playing this for a number of hours, I reckon the best way to get used to this game would be to pretty much start with the unlimited, well, it's not unlimited, but the max amount of resources. That way you can at least work out what stuff you need to build, what stuff you need to upgrade to get certain things. Um, it took me a while to actually be able to unlock all of the areas, especially the sort of market area and uh, not so much in this map, but the um, port for the uh, sort of ships, etc. It took a while to work out what I need to unlock for that, but that's all fun of the part of the fun of the game, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't a major issue, but um, as you see from this uh, time lapse, I do start to get attacked quite quickly, and by this point, I've only <laughs> sort of got 10 or 15 um, soldiers to really defend my area. Um, so yeah, this didn't go to plan and I pretty much got absolutely owned very quickly. So this is coming to the end now of this first video. And as you see in the top corner, I do pretty much get owned by the opposing team. So another thing as well is just whoever, whatever country you are, you've got to make sure you're building the right um, people to fight against them. Obviously the crossbowmen or sh ones with the guns are going to have to be a long distance away uh, which doesn't always help when the uh, front men are coming to you with their swords. So round two this video I did decide to start with the additional resources just so I can get used to the game. I wanted to get everything down, I wanted to build everything I possibly could, I wanted to get an army together, I wanted to build a base and for starting the game I would certainly advise is the best way to do so. So this half of the video is really pretty much just me building up a, a base and a, an army. Um, didn't actually get a chance to fight anyone because unfortunately my stream went down and so did the recording. So that's a little bit annoying, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do for this um, series of Cossack 3 is pretty much have this on my live stream and play sort of once a week, a few hours and sort of see how we go. I'll, I'll obviously try and build a nice looking base an army which is you know where my detailing comes in it's obviously far from uh, sort of detailing city skylines etc but you can certainly do a lot with this for a game that's um, modern but based on the old way of playing these strategy games it does does look really good and um, the graphics do really hold up for the, uh, the variation that they're sort of going towards so I do like that so because I had the unlimited resources on, I did actually get a chance to upgrade a lot of stuff and get pretty much everything possible down in terms of uh, buildings. And I did finally unlock the walls and I wanted to have a, a little play with adding these walls in and uh, sort of enclosing this island into a base, um, which was going to be the start of something. But uh, unfortunately, that didn't quite happen, as I say, because the stream and uh, recording did break down in the end. But it does does work well um, the battle sort of realism to me looks really good obviously it's uh, still based on an older version of what we see these days but I prefer playing these over the sort of more modern games where it's a bit too 3D um, I like the way that this at this view is it's always worked for me as I say Age of Empires pretty much made its name from this sort of series and I can certainly see Cossack getting very close to that with this with this release as well. So guys, be interesting to hear your thoughts. I know it's not a huge amount to show you just yet. Um, I think the live stream is where you're going to really see the benefits of how good this game is, how well it plays and what you can do with it. Um, doing a review video such as this, it's difficult really. I mean, I'm, I, I prefer to do sort of live plays with this and sort of talk you through what I'm doing. and. I'm not saying I'm the best player at this game. I've barely, <laughs> barely got my head around it so far. But you know, the community speaking together, getting used to the game. Obviously, it plays well. It's just a case of getting used to 
how it works and what you need to do to get certain features and sort of be a better player. Um, what I'm looking to do as well is once I've got this up and running, if any of the other guys are also looking to buy this, or you already have, we can certainly set up a multiplayer um, game which I'll also stream and uh, have some sort of two on two or four on four battles. I think I remember reading you can get up to 10,000 uh, um, figures fighting at any one time, so that's pretty insane. And uh, I'm sure we can look at some custom maps and maybe sort of build our own if possible as well. So there's a lot that we can do with this game, and it's a uh, in my eyes, it's a cool little party game to play on the side, um, certainly with my um, City Skylines channel. That does take a lot of time and it takes a lot of time to really show off anything really. But with this game, it's a pretty much jump in and let's play and let's have some fun. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. I'm extremely pleased with what I've seen so far. And uh, again, big thank you to the guys at Cossack Free for allowing me to... Uh, have an early release of this and, and show things off. Um, I think they've done an extremely good job and for the price as well this is definitely worth buying so I will put a link below to the Steam link and yeah let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll speak again soon. All the best.